sex hormone binding globin in part the effects on testosterone laboratory levels. This is very important. Any man in the world that's getting his testosterone checked with labs because he's interested, that he doesn't feel well, maybe he has poor sexual drive, maybe he's tired, maybe he has some medical issues that may relate to it, his energy level's down. You're gonna want to check and listen to this presentation. This is very important to understand the lab interpretation. This is very important equally for physicians in the world to understand this. So many doctors make an egregious mistake and they only check a total testosterone. It doesn't tell the full clinical tale. We have to understand this. This is a massive error just looking at a total testosterone. This is where sex hormone binding globin plays a very important pivotal role. Testosterone itself and estradiol circulate in the bloodstream loosely bound to serum albumin. This is how it's distributed, how it's carried. About 50% albumin. Tightly bound the other half to sex hormone binding globin. Now, if you see it this way, oil and water doesn't mix. You're carrying in water, which is saline, your blood, an oily, waxy substance. So it has to be bound to distribute itself. Only the small fraction, a teeny fraction, is the free or unbound aspect that's biologically active and can enter into the central nervous system, a muscle cell, to have its receptor stimulation. That's it. That's what we're talking about here. Sex hormone binding globin actually inhibits the function of biologic testosterone and estrogens as well. Essentially rendering testosterone inactive. Sex hormone binding globin is produced mainly in the liver, also found and produced in the brain, uterus, placenta, of the pregnant woman. In the testes, there's a very unique type of sex hormone binding globin called antigen binding protein. Sex hormone binding globin regulation, it's so important to understand. It's the volume of testosterone, if you will, which means that depending on the quantitative aspect of how much sex hormone binding globin a man has, it will determine the effects on the man of testosterone. It's so important. There are several genetic polymorphisms that men can manifest, and it's not fully understood. Essentially, we are going to discuss now aspects and states where sex hormone binding globin will be increased, and of course, decreased. So, sex hormone binding globin, if you have too much, remember, it's going to freeze up. It's going to render your testosterone potentially inactive or less active effectually in your central nervous system. So, right off the bat, higher estrogen states will increase sex hormone binding globin. Thyroxin increased, which is hyperthyroidism that will be diagnosed by seeing a TSH lower in the index of the reference range. Other disease states, liver disease and cirrhosis, medications, tamoxifen, spironolactone, and even metformin can render testosterone inactive by increasing sex hormone binding globin. Very interesting, anorexic states and severe caloric restrictive diets and overtraining can also increase sex hormone binding globin. Congenital states that are rare, men can have and be acquired as they get older, not necessarily when they're young, but as they get older, we've seen rare cases where men just have a super elevated physiologic sex hormone binding globin and therefore 
their free testosterone is low and they're suffering in the symptoms. Men have low T suffer with usually libido issues, energy issues, maybe mood. Remember, these are going to be multifactorial. PTSD, I've seen it. PTSD is powerful. I've seen general urinary issues of men that tell me that when they were young boys, they had some type of uh, urologic surgery, and that's all I could find, and they have a history of super physiologic sex hormone binding globin. No steroids, no other diseases. Just having a manipulation surgically in his general urinary tract. I've seen two cases of this. Very rare, but I do present these details. Anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism. I've seen it. Men use steroids, and even years later, even decades later, I've seen men having, of course, normal testosterone, super physiologic elevation in sex and binding globin, and low, sufferingly low, free testosterone. I've seen it, even from years of using test boosters, certain peptides, SARMs, and of course, classic anabolic steroids. And this is after even years of waiting. We fully do not understand this one. Next, what causes sex hormone binding globin to go low and therefore render a man to have an elevated and an abnormally high, potentially, free testosterone? Insulin, growth hormone, IGF-1, androgens. This is why in the literature you'll see in the bro science for years, men using androgens, usually oral androgens, Anivar and Winstrol, even testosterone and other cycles of steroids, blasting and cruising, to perpetually lower sex hormone binding globin and therefore liberate and have that freer testosterone. This is incredible. Prolactin will do it. Now, medical conditions, obesity, hypothyroidism, that's where the TSH is elevated. So the thyroid, a lot of people get it wrong. They think that hypothyroidism, which is more common, especially Hashimoto's, they're going to see that with an elevated sexual hormone binding globin, but it's reversed. It's the reverse. You'll see a TSH elevated. It's hypothyroid state. Need to see a good doctor. Need to check it. Need to repeat it. Need to clinically relate it. And that could lower sex hormone binding globin. Also, there's a relationship to diabetes type 2 and obesity. There's amazing that potentially there's been a link between having a low sex hormone binding globin and obesity, obviously related to diabetes type 2, which is an impaired fasting glucose state. It's an insulin resistant state. We certainly do not understand the mechanisms of this one. Medical androgens that have been used to suppress sex hormone binding globin, mestanerone and danosol classically. Ways to lower sex hormone binding globin because that's really in the end what men want. They want to keep that sex hormone binding globin low or normal, therefore liberating their free testosterone so they feel better. How do you do it? Behaviorally. Low protein diets. So if you have too much of a low protein diet, that could lead to it. Ethanol. Too much booze, too much drinking can do it. Caffeine, too much caffeine, too much carbohydrates. So try a lower carbohydrate diet, but remember not caloric re restrictive because then it shifts over to increase sexual binding globin. This is truly fascinating. That line between having too much or too little sexual binding globin, the behavioral aspects of it are amazing. Supplements that can reduce sex hormone binding globin, at least in theory, boron, vitamin D, fish oils, and magnesium supplementation. The laboratory diagnosis of a man getting the appropriate testosterone lab done is going to include a total and a free testosterone. It's going to show an accurate level of sex hormone binding globin. It needs to be done via a liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy on a dilution method. Please bring this and my words to your doctor, your healthcare provider, anywhere in the world. 
the total and the free testosterone. To really see the free testosterone, you're going to have to measure the sex wing binding globin. Next, you're going to want to get a very good history and physical exam to identify potentially reversible causes for low testosterone. Everything that I discussed in this video. And in the end, you may want to try a trial of testosterone replacement. If you do fit the bill and you're a candidate for it, this may help you. And please, always be very careful with your health. Please utilize the best physicians or healthcare providers that you can. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.